Hey guys and girls, it's Philip McKernan. I just wanted to share a story about a pattern I see with many people that come to me who are looking to focus on, you know, what am I here to do? I've had a degree of success, but I'm not necessarily satisfied. I know there's something out there for me. I know I'm not living my purpose. Um, you know, what's my why? Whatever, whatever way you would say it. I think you probably understand where where I'm coming from with this. But I had a gentleman reach out to me recently and he had contacted us a number of years ago and he was in a place of transition. He was in a place where he was starting to contemplate what was next in his life. And we had a great chat, I remember, a number of years ago. And I remember being kind of disappointed he didn't step in. He just, it wasn't the right timing or whatever for him to step into the work that we do. And... That's fine. That's obviously his choice, but it just felt like I just felt he was on the precipice of something. And you know, you you, in my work, I choose not to push people too hard. Sometimes you give them a nudge if you know them. But anyway, nonetheless, he reached out a few days ago, and we had a chat. And it just turns out that the same principle, the same question, is still there. The only challenge is that his life is a bit more complex, and there's been more of a cost because he hasn't addressed this question sooner in in I suppose his life. And that's not to put more blame or shame or anything on this man. It's really just a site. You know, often we push these big questions further down the line, assuming if we have a successful business or we have a home run, then that we'll have the freedom to go and do what we, we really want to do, so to speak. And I, I lived that story and that narrative for many years. Um, bottom line is, and I'll just fast forward here. The bottom line is he is struggling in aspects of his life, which is basically his life is catching up on him. OK, um, and I'll maybe just leave it at that. And the question remains, what am I here to do? What is my soul's purpose? What is my why? What Again, whatever way in which you would you would you, I suppose, frame that. And he said to me, he said something really interesting. He, he has three different businesses on the go at the moment and if i had to simplify what was going on is he's kind of waiting for one to kind of just land and take off and i said to him i said what if it's your purpose is not any of those businesses he was like perplexed he was saying oh no it's one of these i'm not just i'm just not sure which one and i said what if it was none of them what if we took them all away and you were not allowed to operate in those businesses, what would you do? And his answer, not surprisingly for either him or many others, was, I have no idea. I genuinely promise you, Philip, I have no idea. To which I said, I don't believe you. I believe you believe what you're saying, but I just don't believe that's the case. And I pushed him really hard. And finally, he said it would be something in the realm of impact. It will be something in the realm of working with people. It will be something in the realm of coaching and speaking and maybe even writing, etc. And you could just feel how painful it is and was for him to admit this. And the reason it was painful is not because it's not true, not because it's not something he wants. It was painful because he feels undeserving of that very thing. And the reason he feels undeserving is because he feels to some extent that he hasn't lived a life that deserves the, the, the reward, so to speak, of going out and doing what it is that he wants to do in this world. He also, I, I believe, is living a narrative that I lived for years, and that is if I make enough money in a business, you know, a, a core hard skill business then i can take my softer skills if that's the right terminology i don't i don't relate to that at all and i can take the profits the money and everything else from that business and then i'll have the freedom and i get the story i get the narrative i get the idea i get the strategy but to me it's fundamentally flawed which is not for today but ultimately the question i'm going to leave you with or the, or the thing to contemplate if you will um is is ultimately he's deprived not just himself of his gift in the world but he's also deprived humanity over the last three years. And it looks like if he doesn't shine a light on this sooner, he'll deprive himself and the rest of the world for the next three years again. You see, when you align to the thing you're here to do, not just does it shift your world, 
but it actually makes the world a better place because every single time I've helped someone get to that place, and I say help, I didn't get them there. I didn't do the work. I just ask the right questions. I don't accept the bullshit. I push them really hard. I love them to death and I kick them to death until they get there. As long as there's a willingness to, to get there, as long as there's a desire, but ultimately in the end, it always centers around some semblance of impact, making the world a better place than the time you walked in. And that to me is the most exciting part of this. So there's not really necessarily a question other than, you know, sometimes we just cannot get there on our own because we think, you know, we, we, we put blocks and obstacles and everything else in our way. But also remember that if you don't lean into that gift of yours, and we all have one at least, if not a few, there is a sense of depriving the world of that amazing gift. And I don't mean that to sound either condescending or, you know, it's not designed to make you feel guilty. If it does, that's with respect to your choice. But essentially, I don't think we can sit back and wait for these things to miraculously uncover themselves. I think it's a combination of being gentle, not forcing it, but I think we need to be active in that process, whether it's with someone like me or whether it's finding somebody that you feel aligned to that can help you with that work. So it's just a story that actually makes me sad, but also gives me tremendous hope. Uh, like really tremendous hope and I can relate to it on a personal level not just professionally but wherever you are in the world whatever you're doing I do hope you're well and I look forward to catching up again soon bye